In this video, I'm going to show you the three hotkeys that have saved me the most time while editing and sorting footage. Let's get started. So I'm going to switch back over to my tutorial screen here, and I already have DaVinci Resolve pulled up. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit. I'm going to go into uh, one of my drone shots and I'm going to copy it over here. And then I'm going to just enlarge it. Okay. So the three keys that I have remapped that has saved me a ton of time, three hotkeys are Z, X, and C. Now, when you're sorting and editing B-roll footage or just even A-roll footage just going through, these, this method, in my opinion, has been the fastest for me and has saved me the most amount of time, which in turn saves me money because I spend less time doing uh, menial stuff like sorting through footage. So first I'm going to show you in practice how it works, and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. So the way I have it set up is while I'm working in a timeline here, um, and I'm actually going to, let me switch back over to this, and I'm going to move myself back down. So while I have a timeline open, um, I scrub through video footage using the this ruler portion of the video, and I just use the mouse. So I'm scrubbing through here. And let's say this drone shot, I really like this rotating drone shot right here. So I want to cut out everything before this point, and then cut out everything after this point. So what I do is as I'm scrolling through, I have remapped the blade tool, not the blade tool, but the um, blade cut essentially to C makes sense. C is for cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit C and that's going to cut it right there. And then I'm going to move over and say, I want to keep it from there to right there. And I'm going to cut that. And then I have created um, or, or remapped the X key to be ripple delete. Now what ripple delete does is it deletes the clip and then anything ahead of it will actually readjust and uh, move in. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say if I just extend this right here, or excuse me, let's say I want to clip it again. So I'm going to actually cut it right here and I ripple delete. When I delete this, it moves that in. So I have uh, X set to ripple delete. And I use ripple delete probably the most unless I'm editing a more complicated um, scene with multiple layers because ripple delete doesn't play well with multiple layers. It moves stuff like above and below. And so if you're working with just one layer, ripple delete is what I use the most. In this case, editing or sorting B-roll footage for this wedding that I'm actually working on is ripple deletes the fastest because then I can edit very quickly. So let's say I make a few cuts here and I can say, oh, I want to keep or get rid of this one and this one. Then everything's already just aligned up for me and it's easily accessible. But I can actually delete those and then I can actually delete the one before it as well. And then I have Z set to uh, basically it's just non ripple delete. Uh, so the way that that works is let's say, um, so I'm going to duplicate the clip a um, couple times here and let's actually uh, delete the space and I can use either X or Z to delete empty space. Um, either just regular delete or ripple delete. And so let's say I want to delete this clip, but I don't want it to move the clips in. So like if I'm editing again, using the example before a more complicated timeline, then I may not want to use ripple delete because it might move clips and misalign audio to video, that sort of thing. So I have that set to Z. When I hit Z, it just deletes it in place and it doesn't ripple anything back together. And one of the reasons why this is so handy, and I'll cut to a small video uh, showing my, my like hand positioning, is that everything I need for like the majority of my editing is at my fingertips. I don't have to hold control and hit another key because uh, for example, the blade tools previously control B and having to stretch my fingers and do control B for maybe hours at a time was really frustrating. Uh, so, uh, so that's, that's basically it. And then my fingers are already on Z and then C and then right next to V. So cut and paste, copy, paste, or undo are all very, very close to my fingers right there. It's very easy for me to reach them. Uh, so that's really the, in my opinion, the best way to set up. So let me now show you how 
to actually remap the keys. If you're not familiar in DaVinci Resolve, you can remap any key to do anything if you want. And it's really handy because I don't personally love the default controls for DaVinci Resolve. I think they're relatively unintuitive. That's something that Blackmagic Design doesn't seem to be really great at is, is making intuitive software. They've gotten much better in the past. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to DaVinci Resolve up here in the corner, click on it, and then keyboard customization. And when you're in keyboard customization, you can click on any key and you can see what it's mapped to. And you can even double click on the mapping to show what um, the what it's actually mapped to. And so um, you can actually come in here and I can edit them. So you can see that delete selected for Z, which is the non ripple delete, I have set to both backspace and Z. I hardly ever use backspace, but I think that was the default one. So I just left it. Um, backspace and Z with X, double click on that. And you can see that I have it set to either shift backspace or X. Uh, so either of those will work. And then with C, I have it set to the razor tool. Okay, I, I, I guess I misspoke. It's the blade mode uses the razor to cut clips. Anyway, tomato, tomato. So uh, you can double click on that and I can see that control B there. See, that's that default one that was there before. I just left it because why not? I didn't, I don't use control B for anything else. And then I added C to also work with it. Now you'll notice that when you're setting hotkeys, sometimes you'll have this symbol right here. That means that you have multiple actions set to a single hotkey. And so that can sometimes cause uh, problems, right? You can, when you push a key, it'll do two things at once that might mess up your timeline. So just be aware that that's the case on some things. Um, but yeah, it's really just that simple. And it has saved me a lot of time. In fact, this wedding, I was able to finish sorting the B-roll on this, on this wedding. I'll zoom out here um, to show you. I have a ton of clips uh, here for this wedding that I'm putting together. And I was able to sort through it much more quickly than I normally would have been able to because I'm not, uh, you know, every little bit counts. When you're, when you're performing the same action thousands of times, uh, being able to eliminate, go from five steps to three steps will end up saving you like let's say per step it only saves you maybe half a second well if you're editing for several hours that could save you you know 10 20 minutes and so um you want to uh make it as fast as possible and for me this is what has worked the best so uh let me know what you think about this tip let me know what, what are some of the hot key your favorite hot keys for uh davinci resolve and how do you use them uh let me go ahead and switch back to here. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and drop it a like for me. I really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. I plan on uploading uh, more short form content like this, just very down to earth and real, not even edited. This is all just one take, uh, just showing some of my little tips and tricks for saving time and ultimately uh, making your uh, editing business or videography business or, or however you use DaVinci Resolve more profitable. Uh, because that's what we all want. So if you want to see my uh, previous video that I made, then go ahead and click the link that is on the screen right now. Uh, that's the one that I made. And I go over uh, one of my favorite color grading tips that I recently went over. So check that out because it'll save you a lot of time in color grading as well. Uh, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.